I'm here at Immingham's Tin Town Heritage Centre to speak to Malcolm Cullum to find out why this house and Tin Town was built in the early 1900s. The Great Central Railway decided they needed to expand and instead of expanding Grimsby Dock, they decided they would build a brand new dock at Immingham. It's only a small village with just a few hundred people. And because of that, there was no houses. So they built a whole town for the navvies out of tin around where the county is at the moment. And they built these six up here for the docks. I think two were for engineers and then there was a foreman. And quite oddly, the one was for the baker. So it shows how much the baker was important. My grandparents lived down Blossom Way and when my mum and dad got married they bought the one at 357. I've lived on the same site all my life, you know, although we pulled it down in 1992 and built a modern bungalow. They're not very warm as you can guess, all it is is a tin on the outside with tundra group boards on the inside with a piece of 4 by 2 in the middle and I have nicknamed a glorified garden shed. When we decided to renovate this or bring it back to how it was, we had to do quite a bit of work inside and each wall has had four coats of paint. We've tried to give them the colours that was originally, but some were very dark, so we, we have lightened up. A lot of the stuff in here is from people who's lived in Immingham many years. So not only is it the building, but there's so much Immingham history in artifacts. Two ladies, Margaret Fulsham and Janet Dimbleby, a local, volunteered to help me. They've done a lot of research. They researched the curtains uh, and have made them all and they've set it all out to look as, as they would have been in the old days. Uh, and without them, I, I couldn't have done it. So it, to come to visit, you just get a feeling of how it would be in those days to live in here. We normally are open on a Saturday afternoon, that's all, but we're open to open more maybe next year. You can book for a Sunday afternoon uh, via the internet, it's free to do. We don't charge, we want people to come and have a look. We just asked if they'd like to give a donation. Mm -hmm. 